Hi guys, uh, this is Ravindra Reddy from Trending Technologies. Now I'm going to talk about the Quarkus configuration loading in our application. So in the previous videos, uh, I talked about uh, how we can load the properties, properties, properties in the Quarkus using the uh, configuration data class and also directly from the application dot properties. Now this approach, I'm going to show you how we can load the properties by using the interface and also the class without setter getters by using the public variables. So let me show you the example. So this is the application that we created previously. So here is our uh, uh, configuration data class that I created. So now I'll make it as an interface. Interface, I'm, I'm going to remove all the setter getters here. And I'll make it as, I'll remove this uh, private here from here. And uh, these are just method signatures since it is an interface. And this one as well. So now, so the first property uh, to make a prefix for uh, our application. So is the configuration properties of prefix equal to app. And we have uh, the message name and uh, optional uh, properties here so we need to add annotation config property config property so this is uh, you know since i'm going to add some default value this is required otherwise uh, uh, it is not uh, required otherwise we no need to add any uh, config property annotation here so for the remaining things are not required because the last one is going to be optional and name we have here uh, uh, hello in our uh, application dot properties so this will be fine since uh, we are going to use the quarkus we don't need to restart our application we have the auto reload function out here so let's go to the browser and verify whether we are getting the response or not so the application is running on port 8083 localhost 8083 slash hello so we should be able to get the response so it is uh, throwing some, some exception. Let's see what it says. It says incompatible class error. Yeah, because uh, there is a code that we need to change it in our resource file. So since we don't have any getter methods, it should be the name. And here it should be the message. And here it should be the optional. So now it's fine. Hopefully it should work. You can see here, this is the response that we get. So now the configurations are loaded by using the interface. It is not uh, directly from the uh, properties and all. So we use uh, the uh, configuration data interface. So this is very useful when you have uh, in the real time application, let's say one particular category, you have uh, hundreds of properties. So instead of uh, directly writing the properties in your uh, application dot properties and loading by using the config property so you can just create a one common interface or the common class and you can load all your properties so this is one of the way that we can load the properties in your quarkus application so the next approach i'm going to show you uh, with a class with the public variables so it is instead of private uh, final so i'm going to make it as a public variable and we can load all your properties here so this config data i'll make it as a, a public uh, class and uh, these are going to be public variables it's a public and this one is a public so it is not a method signature So now go to the resource and just make a small changes here. Just remove the brackets. Now it should work the same as it is. Now still we get some error. It says no config value of type class java.lang.string exist app.message. So just check it what is that. So it is not able to identify MSC here in the application.properties. Exactly. So 
it is not able to identify okay so let's make a name as well here so so we can directly specify the uh, property uh, here itself app dot uh, message just leave it blank so it should work now still same exist no config value of type mm -hmm. so we have a config property name equal to message so let's make it as a static static variables public static so it is not required and uh, even in the properties this one is not required so just go and reload it still same issue let me check the quarkus documentation what they have given so this is the same thing here okay got you mm -hmm. so we cannot add anything here that is the issue so just to make it uh, equal to the value and remove the static is not necessary so now it should work whatever that we expected here let's go to the browser and reload it now we can see this is the response that we get okay so so the next video i will talk about how we can write some web applications so these are very core concepts i will talk about some of the web features in the quarkus and thank you so much uh, for watching video so if you like video uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, also like uh, the videos thank you so much bye